Hello again. Now, if you've knit with us before, you know we like to squeeze out as much water as possible gently in the first part of blocking and then just wrap it up in a towel to help get the rest of it out. And you can see I've got my shawl here in my mustache shape and of course you are going to darn in your ends before you do any blocking. But this is my chance to even out this shape and get it to be what I want it to be. So. Pam of Powder Mill Designs designed this to be a crescent-shaped shawl. So what you need to do here is just work that edge back down in, and that's where these nice stretchy garter stitches are gonna give you a lot of room. And this Icelandic bind-off is a really nice stretchy one to help you get that crescent shape, which is gonna then wrap nicely around your shoulders. And if this pops up a little bit, that's actually pretty nice because it covers the back of your neck and then this part will slope over your shoulders and then give you that nice curl towards the front. But that's the way that you can block your powder mill shawl. Now, there's a twist because this is a very versatile design and we've seen this from some of our earlier finishers is they decided to accentuate this bump and turn this into a shawl that went the other direction. And we even had one that added a tassel, which I think was a fantastic embellishment. So you can decide to go in the other way if you choose. And all you need to do is as you are blocking it, make sure that you're training it to shape. And that's why I like to have it on a towel or something like that. You can of course pin it to blocking mats. Even if you just stretch it out on a cut pile carpet, that'll be enough to hold it in place. But you could train it to make this point even more noticeable if you wanted and wear the shawl with the V's going in the other direction. Totally up to you. I love the creativity that we're seeing and I can't wait to see the next round of finished ones too with what you guys are gonna come up with. So you can do the upside down V or you can turn it around, block out. That's a funny way to say it, isn't it? Block out. But that's really what you're doing. You're blocking the bump here and you're letting the crescent show around the bottom. And there you go. There's your powder mill shawl. Happy knitting from Morehouse Farm.